Emma had always been a whirlwind of color. Her life was expressed in bold brushstrokes, loud music, and daring fashion choices. She wasn't the type to blend into the background, and she preferred it that way. As a teen with a passion for painting, she filled her days with sketches, splashes of paint, and dreams of becoming a famous artist. But there was one thing she lacked, control. Her bold spirit was like the abstract paintings she created, unpredictable, chaotic, and full of energy that few could handle. The art room at school was Emma's sanctuary, the only place where she felt truly herself. She spent most afternoons there, staying long after the other students had left, alone with her canvases and imagination. It was where she painted her dreams, dreams too big for her small, sleepy town. One afternoon, Emma was working on a piece she'd been pouring her heart into for weeks. It was a chaotic explosion of colors, a mixture of emotions she couldn't quite put into words. She was so absorbed in her work that she didn't notice the shadow in the doorway until a soft cough broke her concentration. Hey, I didn't mean to interrupt, the deep voice said. Emma spun around, paintbrush still in hand, and found herself face to face with Adrian. He was the new guy in school, tall and muscular, with the kind of presence that drew attention without trying. He had joined the school a few weeks ago and had already made a name for himself as a boxer, winning a local tournament in record time. Adrian didn't seem like the type who would spend his time in an art room, and his rugged appearance clashed with the creative space. But there he was, standing awkwardly in the doorway, I scanning the room like he didn't belong. Uh, can I help you? Emma asked, raising an eyebrow. Adrian shifted uncomfortably, rubbing the back of his neck. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Rogers. Coach said I could find him here. Emma sighed, annoyed at the intrusion. He's not here. Probably left already. Adrian nodded and turned to leave, but something in Emma's painting caught his eye. He paused, taking a step closer to the canvas. That's intense, he said quietly, as though the painting had spoken to him. Emma blinked, caught off guard. She had expected him to walk out without another word, like most people who didn't understand art. But there was something in his voice that sounded genuine, almost appreciative. Yeah, it's a work in progress, she muttered, unsure how to react. Adrian lingered for a moment, his gaze fixed on the swirling chaos of colors on the canvas. It's cool. I like it. Before Emma could respond, he was gone, leaving her standing there, paintbrush still in hand, wondering what had just happened. The next few days passed in their usual routine. Emma spent her mornings in class, afternoons in the art room, and evenings sketching in her notebook. But she couldn't shake the thought of Adrian. There was something about him, something more than just the tough boxer image he projected. And then, one day, she saw him again. It was raining, and Emma had stayed late in the art room, as usual. She was cleaning her brushes when she noticed someone outside in the courtyard, drenched in throwing punches into the air. She squinted through the window and realized it was Adrian, his shirt soaked through as he practiced his boxing moves. What is he doing out there in the rain? Emma thought, shaking her head. But something drew her outside. Maybe it was curiosity, maybe it was the way he seemed so focused, so intense, like he was fighting an invisible opponent. 
she grabbed her sketchbook and headed to the courtyard. Adrian didn't notice her at first, too wrapped up in his own world. His movements were precise, controlled, each punch landing with purpose. Emma watched from a distance, her artist's eye taking in every detail, the way his muscles tensed, the sharpness of his movements, the raw power in each strike. Without thinking, she started sketching. Her hand moved across the paper, capturing the fluidity of his movements, the contrast between the rain-soaked air and the heat of his intensity. It was like watching a living painting, a mix of power and grace that fascinated her. Suddenly, Adrian stopped mid-punch and turned, spotting her. Emma froze, her pencil hovering over the page. You've been watching me, he asked, breathing heavily. Emma shrugged, trying to play it off. Yeah, I guess. You were kind of hard to miss. He walked over, his hair plastered to his forehead, water dripping from his clothes. What are you drawing? Emma hesitated but then held up her sketchbook. You. Adrian stared at the drawing, his eyes widening in surprise. It wasn't just a rough sketch, it was a detailed, dynamic representation of him in motion, capturing the essence of his intensity. That's, that's amazing, he said, his voice filled with genuine admiration. Emma felt a flush of pride but quickly brushed it off. It's just a sketch. No, seriously, Adrian insisted, still staring at the page. It's incredible. You've got real talent. Emma smiled, feeling a warmth spread through her chest at his words. Thanks. There was a moment of silence the rain still falling around them, but neither of them seemed to mind. Adrian glanced at her, a curious look in his eyes. Why art? Why painting? Emma thought for a moment, then shrugged. It's the only way I know how to make sense of things. When I paint, I can take all the chaos in my head and turn it into something, tangible, you know? Adrian nodded, as if he understood. That's kind of how boxing is for me. It's not just about fighting, it's about control. When I'm in the ring, everything else fades away, and it's just me, my opponent, and the rhythm. Emma raised an eyebrow, surprised by his insight. She had never thought of boxing as something so artistic. But the way he described it, it made sense. You ever think about doing something else? She asked, curious. Adrian laughed, a deep, genuine sound that caught her off guard. You mean, like painting? Yeah, why not? He shrugged. I'm not much of an artist. But I do write sometimes. Poetry, mostly. Not that anyone knows about it. Emma's eyes widened in surprise. You write poetry? Adrian nodded, looking slightly embarrassed. Yeah, I know, doesn't exactly fit the whole boxer image, right? Emma shook her head, a smile playing on her lips. No, I think it's cool. I'd love to read something you've written. Adrian looked at her, surprised by her sincerity. Maybe someday, he said, his voice soft. As the weeks passed, Emma and Adrian began to spend more time together, their world slowly blending into one. She'd sit in the stands during his boxing practice, sketching him as he trained, while he'd join her in the art room afterward, offering quiet commentary on her latest projects. They bonded over their shared passion for expression, even if their mediums were different. But their growing closeness didn't go unnoticed. Whispers began to spread around school, and soon, everyone was talking about the unlikely pairing of the tough boxer and the bold artist. Some people were supportive, but others weren't so kind. 
Adrian's boxing friends teased him relentlessly, calling him soft, while Emma's art friends questioned why she'd hang out with someone so brutal. The tension finally came to a head one Friday after school. Adrian had just won a major boxing match, and Emma had been there to cheer him on. Afterward, as they walked through the school parking lot, they ran into a group of Adrian's boxing buddies. Hey, look, it's Picasso and the poet, one of them called out, smirking. Emma rolled her eyes, but Adrian stiffened, his jaw clenching. Come on, man, what's with the art stuff, another guy asked, crossing his arms. You're a boxer, not some sensitive poet. Adrian looked down at the ground, his fists tightening at his sides. Emma could see the conflict in his eyes, the pressure to fit into the tough guy image that everyone expected from him. Let's just go, Emma whispered, tugging on his arm. But Adrian shook his head, stepping forward. No. I'm not just a boxer. I'm more than that. The group of boys looked at him, confused, as if they didn't understand. I love boxing, but it's not all I am, Adrian continued, his voice steady. And if you can't respect that, then maybe we're not as good of friends as I thought. Emma's heart swelled with pride as she watched him stand up for himself, refusing to let others define him. The boys muttered something under their breath and walked away, leaving Adrian and Emma alone in the parking lot. You didn't have to do that, Emma said softly. Adrian shrugged, a small smile tugging at the corner of his lips. Yeah, I did. It's time I stopped hiding who I really am. Emma smiled back, her heart full. I think that's pretty bold. Adrian laughed, a warm, genuine sound that made her heart skip a beat. I guess we're both pretty bold, huh? Over the next few weeks, Emma and Adrian's bond grew even stronger. They continued to support each other in their respective passions, Emma spent hours in the art room perfecting her paintings, while Adrian poured his energy into his boxing matches. But the more time they spent together, the more they realized how much their worlds overlapped in ways they hadn't expected. One day, Adrian surprised Emma with a notebook. It was old and worn, filled with pages of his handwritten poetry. I thought maybe you'd like to read some, he said, rubbing the back of his neck awkwardly. Emma's eyes lit up. She sat down on the edge of one of the tables in the art room, carefully opening the notebook. Adrian watched nervously as her eyes scanned the pages, waiting for her reaction. The first poem she read was about fighting, but it wasn't just about boxing. It was about battling inner demons, the struggle for control, and the search for peace amidst chaos. Each line was raw, honest, and full of emotion. This is incredible, Emma whispered, her fingers lightly tracing the edge of the page. Adrian let out a breath he hadn't realized he'd been holding. You really think so? Emma looked up at him, her eyes shining with admiration. Yes. I had no idea you felt this way. Your words, they're powerful. A blush crept up Adrian's neck, but he smiled. It's just stuff I think about. Sometimes it's easier to put it on paper than to say it out loud. I get that, Emma said, nodding. It's like painting for me. It's how I make sense of things. They sat in comfortable silence for a moment, the weight of Adrian's poetry lingering between them. Emma continued flipping through the notebook, marveling at how someone so strong and tough on the outside could have such a soft, poetic soul. Adrian was a mystery to her, and every day she felt like she was uncovering more of him. As she turned another page, her eyes landed on a poem that made her heart stop. It wasn't about fighting or struggle, it was about her. The words described her boldness, her wild spirit, and how she brought color to his world. It was beautiful, raw, and vulnerable, and it made Emma's chest tighten with emotion. You wrote this about me, she asked softly, looking up at him. Adrian shifted uncomfortably, his eyes flickering to the floor. Yeah, I didn't mean for you to see that one. It's just how I feel. Emma's heart pounded in her chest. No one had ever written anything like that about her before. She felt seen, truly seen, in a way she hadn't expected. 
I don't know what to say, she whispered, her voice shaky. You don't have to say anything, Adrian said, finally meeting her gaze. His eyes were soft, open, and full of the same vulnerability she had read in his poem. I just wanted you to know how much you've changed things for me. Emma's breath caught in her throat. She felt an overwhelming rush of emotion, her heart pounding in her chest. She had always been the bold one, the girl who never hesitated to speak her mind, but right now, she felt nervous, unsure of what to say or do. So, she didn't say anything. Instead, she closed the notebook, stood up, and walked over to him. Without thinking, she reached up and gently kissed him, her lips brushing against his softly, like a whisper. Adrian froze for a moment, surprised, but then he kissed her back, his arms wrapping around her waist. The world seemed to melt away, and all that mattered was the two of them, standing in the middle of the art room, wrapped in each other's arms. When they finally pulled away, Emma felt breathless, her heart racing. Well, that was bold, Adrian said, his voice low, a teasing smile playing on his lips. Emma laughed softly, her cheeks flushed. I guess I can't help myself. Adrian grinned and pulled her close again, pressing his forehead to hers. I like that about you. For a moment, everything felt perfect. They stood there, holding each other, content in the quiet moment they had created. But as much as they wanted to stay in that bubble, reality soon came knocking. A few days later, trouble started to brew. Word of Emma and Adrian's relationship had spread around school, and not everyone was happy about it. Adrian's boxing coach, in particular, had started to notice a change in him. Adrian wasn't as focused as he used to be, and coach didn't like the idea of his starfighter getting distracted. One afternoon, after a particularly grueling practice, coach pulled Adrian aside. Listen, kid, coach said, his voice gruff. I've noticed you've been spending a lot of time with that art girl. Adrian stiffened, his jaw tightening. Her name is Emma. Yeah, whatever, coach waved a dismissive hand. Look, I'm not saying you can't have a personal life, but boxing is a full-time commitment. You need to focus. Distractions like that, they're gonna make you lose your edge. Adrian clenched his fists, resisting the urge to snap back. He knew Coach meant well, but he hated the way he talked about Emma, as if she were just some passing phase, something that would fade away. I'm not distracted, Adrian said through gritted teeth. I'm still committed. Coach raised an eyebrow. You sure about that? You've got a big fight coming up. You can't afford to be thinking about anything else. Adrian's mind flashed to Emma, to the way she smiled, the way she made him feel like he could be more than just a boxer. But he also knew that boxing was a huge part of his life, and he didn't want to let anyone down, not his coach, not his team, and especially not himself. I'm sure, Adrian said, his voice firm. Coach gave him a long, hard look, then nodded. Good. Keep it that way. But even as Adrian walked away, he couldn't shake the uneasy feeling in his gut. He didn't want to choose between his passion for boxing and his growing feelings for Emma. Why couldn't he have both? Meanwhile, Emma was facing her own challenges. Her friends in the art world had started to question her relationship with Adrian. They didn't understand how someone like her, with her wild, free-spirited nature, could be with someone as disciplined and focused as Adrian. Are you sure this is a good idea, one of her friends, Lucy, asked one afternoon as they sat in the art room. I mean, he's a boxer. 
His whole life is about fighting. How does that even fit with what you're trying to do? Emma frowned, feeling a pang of defensiveness. He's not just a boxer. He's more than that. Yeah, but is he really your type? Lucy pressed. I just don't want to see you get hurt, Emma. What happens when he chooses boxing over you? Emma bit her lip, her mind racing with doubts. She knew Adrian was serious about his boxing career, and she didn't want to stand in the way of that. But at the same time, she didn't want to be seen as a distraction, as someone who could just be pushed aside when things got tough. Later that night, Emma sat in her room, staring at a blank canvas. Her heart was heavy, filled with uncertainty. She loved painting, and she loved Adrian, but she wasn't sure how to balance the two. Could they really make this work, or were they too different? The day of Adrian's big fight arrived, and Emma found herself sitting in the front row, her hands clenched tightly in her lap. She had been to a few of his matches before, but this one felt different. There was more at stake, not just for Adrian's boxing career, but for their relationship. As the fight began, Emma watched with bated breath, her heart pounding with every punch Adrian threw. He was strong, focused, and in control, just like always. But something was different this time. Every time he got knocked down, every time he stumbled, Emma could see the frustration building in his eyes. By the final round, Adrian was exhausted, his opponent landing blow after blow. Emma's heart sank as she watched him struggle to stay on his feet. Come on, Adrian, she whispered, her hands clasped together as if in prayer. You can do this. But in the last few seconds of the match, Adrian took a hard hit to the jaw and collapsed to the mat. The referee counted him out, and the crowd erupted in a mix of cheers and disappointment. Emma's heart shattered. She wanted to run to him, to tell him it was okay, that it didn't matter if he lost. But as she stood up to make her way toward the ring, she saw Adrian's face, defeated, frustrated, and full of anger. Not at his opponent, but at himself. When he finally made his way out of the ring, Adrian avoided her gaze, walking past her without a word. Emma felt a lump form in her throat as she watched him disappear into the locker room. Emma stood frozen for a moment, watching as Adrian disappeared into the locker room without so much as a glance in her direction. Her chest tightened, and she felt an overwhelming sense of helplessness. She didn't know whether to follow him or give him space, but her heart told her to go to him. Without thinking twice, Emma hurried toward the locker room. As she approached, she could hear the muffled sounds of Adrian venting his frustration. She hesitated for a moment, her hand hovering over the door, unsure if he even wanted her there. But she couldn't just walk away. She couldn't leave him like this. Taking a deep breath, she pushed the door open. Adrian was sitting on a bench, his head in his hands, still drenched in sweat. His body looked worn, exhausted from the fight, but it was the look in his eyes that broke Emma's heart. He was angry, but more than that, he was disappointed. In himself. Adrian, Emma said softly, stepping into the room. He looked up, his eyes filled with a mix of frustration and sorrow. I lost. Emma walked closer her footsteps echoing in the quiet room. It was just a fight. It doesn't change anything. Adrian shook his head, letting out a bitter laugh. 
doesn't change anything? It changes everything. Boxing is all I have. It's who I am. Emma frowned, her heart aching as she listened to the pain in his voice. She sat down beside him, close enough to feel the heat radiating from his tired body. Boxing is important to you, but it's not all you are, Adrian. You're so much more than that. Adrian looked at her, his eyes filled with doubt. How can you say that? I lost focus. I got distracted. Emma bit her lip, realizing that he wasn't just talking about the fight. He was talking about her, about them. Is that what you think? She asked quietly. That being with me is a distraction? Adrian sighed, running a hand through his hair. I don't know, Emma. Everything was fine before, and now, everything feels complicated. Emma's heart sank. She had feared this moment feared that Adrian might start to think of her as the reason for his struggles. She blinked back the sting of tears and looked down at her hands. I don't want to be something that holds you back, she whispered, her voice trembling. But I thought we were stronger than that. Adrian looked at her, his expression softening as he saw the hurt in her eyes. For a moment, he didn't say anything, the silence stretching between them like an invisible wall. But then he spoke, his voice quieter, gentler. You're not holding me back, Emma. I'm just scared. I'm scared that if I keep trying to balance everything, boxing, us, I'll fail at both. Emma took a deep breath, trying to steady her voice. You won't fail. You're the most dedicated, passionate person I've ever met. You're a fighter, not just in the ring, but in life. And you don't have to do it alone. Adrian looked at her, his expression conflicted. He reached for her hand, taking it gently in his. But what if I'm not enough? For boxing, for you? Emma squeezed his hand her eyes softening as she looked at him. You are enough. You've always been enough. But you have to believe that too. Adrian sighed, his shoulders slumping. I don't want to lose you. Emma felt a flicker of hope at his words. She turned to him, her voice steady. Then don't. We'll figure this out together. I don't want to be something that makes you doubt yourself, Adrian. I want to be the person who helps you believe in yourself. Adrian's gaze softened, the weight of his doubts slowly lifting as he looked into her eyes. He realized then that Emma wasn't a distraction. She was his anchor, the person who saw him for more than just the boxer the fighter. She saw the poet, the boy who dreamed of being something more. He let out a shaky breath and nodded, the tension in his body finally easing. I've never had someone believe in me the way you do, Emma. Emma smiled, her heart swelling with love for him. Then let me keep doing that. We'll make this work, okay? You don't have to choose between boxing and me. We can have both. Adrian felt a weight lift off his chest as he listened to her. For the first time in weeks, he felt like he could breathe again. He leaned in, resting his forehead against hers. I don't deserve you, he whispered. Emma chuckled softly, her breath warm against his skin. You deserve everything, Adrian. They sat there for a while, the silence no longer heavy or filled with doubt. Instead, it was peaceful, a quiet understanding between them. 
They both knew that the road ahead wouldn't be easy. There would be more fights, more struggles, more moments where they questioned themselves and each other. But as long as they faced it together, they could handle it. Finally, Adrian stood up, pulling Emma to her feet as well. I'm sorry for shutting you out, he said, his voice filled with sincerity. I was scared of losing myself in all this. Emma smiled, brushing a stray lock of hair from his forehead. It's okay. Just promise me one thing. What's that? Adrian asked, tilting his head. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you're just a boxer, Emma said firmly. Because you're so much more than that. Adrian nodded, a smile slowly spreading across his face. I won't. I promise. They stood there for a moment longer, wrapped in each other's arms, before finally stepping out of the locker room. The world outside felt lighter, like the storm they had been weathering was beginning to clear. Together, they could face whatever came next. As they walked out into the night, hand in hand, Emma looked up at the stars, feeling a sense of peace settle over her. She had found something special with Adrian, something worth fighting for. And as long as they kept believing in each other, nothing could hold them back. Epilogue, months passed, and both Emma and Adrian continued to grow in their respective passions. Adrian trained harder than ever, with Emma always by his side, cheering him on. He began to write more openly, sharing his poetry with her and even with his teammates. Slowly, the world began to see that Adrian was more than just a fighter, he was an artist in his own way, too. Emma's art blossomed as well. With Adrian's encouragement, she entered her first gallery showcase, and her chaotic, colorful paintings were met with praise and admiration. She no longer doubted herself or her work, and she knew that part of that confidence came from having someone who believed in her so fully. Their relationship wasn't perfect, and they still faced challenges along the way, but they had learned how to fight for what mattered. Together, they found a balance between their passions, supporting each other in ways they never thought possible. In the end, Emma and Adrian's love was like a masterpiece, bold, beautiful, and uniquely theirs. It was a love that defied expectations, one that taught them both the power of believing in each other, even when the world told them they couldn't have it all. And as long as they had each other, they knew they'd never stop creating, never stop fighting for the life they wanted. The End <laughs>